Hey guys, this is Joe with Lone Wolf Paintball. Today I'm here with Matt from Detroit Paintball and as part of our continued uh, classic gear series, we got one of my favorite autocockers of all time. I'm super excited to see this one, the 09 ShockTech SFL Autococker. Alright guys, before we get started, uh, make sure you go to our online store, LoneWolfPaintball.com, like this video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, without further ado, let's jump on in. What we have is the 09 SFL. Uh, it's a very unique gun as it is a lot like a lot of the other SFLs that it's been mini blocked, super light, but it has this uh, 3D milling in it basically that is... Um, very unique as far as uh, I don't think Shock Tech had ever really done it ever. The, no, yeah, I think they did what one like earlier version that was like yeah, kind of, kind of all, a similar milling, but uh, yeah, yeah, out of all the body styles, this was <laughs> all, definitely the one I've always I've always drooled over. Never been able to come up with enough cash yeah. to, to part with it to get them out of these guys' hands. The yeah, type of guns that get listed for sale and they're instantly guys like Matt like swoop in on a PM. He's got alerts like Shock Tech gun went for sale. We, so. we we try to keep that PayPal account nice and full to be able to snag him up. Um, this one I bought from a gentleman. That uh, that was uh, had bought a bunch of rare uh, cockers, uh, super cockers, uh, Westwoods, and a bunch of other stuff. I had gotten it from him. Uh, basically, at the time, uh, it didn't have any O rings in anything. Um, I had to pay uh, to have it basically put together, and then have all the seals and everything in there. Um, this is actually the same uh, auto cocker that I used at Iron City Open. Last year in Pennsylvania, um, shot really good. Um, it's as I guess they would say at Shock Tech now. It's a gunfighter's gun. Yeah, uh, no, yeah, that's for sure. So the uh, <laughs> the resurgence of all the uh, the ten man tournaments, mechanical things. Mm -hmm. I mean, the auto cockers have come full circle. I mean, these things are commanding their old retail price and then some. You know, the old you know your P and P guns, the Shock Techs, all these old classic guns are uh, yep. yeah really pulling some uh, some top end money. So. Yep. And I think as long as they're not used and abused too much, I mean, they really do hold their value because yeah. they're not being made anymore. Some stuff is being kind of remade, but it's still not the same yeah. thing. Yeah, so. no, you still can't beat the classics. So, yeah. Like, so yeah, just, just the look of it. Like I said, the milling's killer on it. It's got the original, the Shock Tech reg. I mean, up until a couple months ago when they came out with the new one, I mean, those regs alone guys are paying like 250 bucks for just to, oh, yeah. to, just to be able to complete the build. <laughs> yeah, this one I can really appreciate. I mean, it's factory. I mean, from stem to stern, it comes with the boom stick that it did, yeah. the Shock Tech clamping feed neck. It's got Shock Tech beaver tail. Um, um, all that type of stuff, ASA, mm -hmm. the frame, the whole front end, the pneumatics, all that. So, I mean, this thing is uh, yeah. truly uh, <laughs> yeah, about, as, about as original, as clean as it comes. So. Yeah. I think the thing that I really like about some of the stuff, like by Shock Tech and stuff, is that a lot of this stuff is like still made here in the States. And, yeah. and it comes down to like the attention to um, detail because it has been it, it is a dust finish you can still see a very minimal amount of like the milling lines but it's just over all in all the gun is just very sleek and it and it just like the attention to detail one of the things that i do like about um some of the shock tech stuff is um even the bolt itself has shock tech um oh nice. milled actually into the, the delrin nice Let's i go. mean it's an extra little feature that, I mean, this could cost them an extra five bucks or obviously there's some type of extra cost to be able to have that um, milled in. But it's just one of those things that's kind of neat, like yeah, a classic car cool. or something where they actually spent uh, a little the extra time to touch do it. on it. And it's got the famous, the three hole scoop <laughs> yeah. on the front that all the shock tech bolts yep, are known for. So. Super fly or yep. kind of like, I don't know, what do you like? Do you like this or do you like the old Ventry one that had all the little holes like in it i mean it still has a cupping yeah factor, they but. both yeah they both shot well so it's hard to, <laughs> you know, i'm sure guys will debate you till you're blue in the face oh, so. yeah. but, uh, no yeah. awesome yeah awesome gun and so most importantly though this thing shoots right you yes. said you shot it last year at the iron city yep. classic yep shot so. it last year uh had had a great time with it little little getting used to uh quite a few of the 
paintball markers I have in in my collection are actually like full bodied auto cockers. So basically, uh, the front block is you know mounted onto the yep. little space there. What, um, but you don't get that uh, SFL. <laughs> I'm going to say super freaking light is what it stands for. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but basically, I mean, it's a, it's a really, really light paintball marker. And even with the, the today's hoppers, I mean, you can put almost any hopper on there. It's, it adds the weight to it to still kind of keep it down. So we're not really shooting revies, but at like Iron City, everybody was kind of shooting their favorite line of hopper, which yeah. was basically mo- most of the modern Yeah, like ones, you said, but... they're light, that's for sure. So, I mean, <laughs> when it comes to auto cockers, I mean, it's, yeah, about as light as it comes, so. Yeah. Well, all right, guys, enough of us talking about this beauty. I think you guys got the idea. We're going to take it out back and uh, run some paint through it. Sweet. <laughs> all right, guys, it's Joe and Matt. We're out here. You got uh, just got done rambling on about the cocker. Now the part that you really want to see. Let's uh, throw some paint in this thing and give it a, give it a go. Got it all loaded up, ready to go. Matt did the honors. Yeah, we're gonna shoot it straight. We'll get a couple chrono reads for you real quick. And, uh, see where we're at. 267, 263, 281, 273. Weird clock dropping off. So, gun shooting about 280 feet per second. So, let's give it a rip. Oh, seven, we, seven should balls should we second. fan it for those that have never seen it? <laughs> yeah, if you want to fan it, fan it. <laughs> got it. Looks like you got up to nine on there. That's <laughs> great. Well, that's it. So, all right, guys. Well, uh, appreciate Matt from Detroit Paintball coming by. Like I said, the 09 Shock Tech, to- Shock Tech SFL Auto Cocker, one of my favorite, one of the most beautiful looking guns, in my opinion, out there. Uh, Gun still just the chainsaw. I mean, for what it was, I mean, it uh, almost 10 years <laughs> old already. So, yeah, killer gun. So, again, as always, guys, I hope you like these classic guns videos. Uh, put it in the comments below, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Most importantly, stop and buy lomofpaintball.com. Check out our online store. We got all the merch, all the latest gear, uh, all the best beef jerky at the uh, thejerkyden.com. So, thanks for watching this video. Check out Detroit Paintball as well. Absolutely. Thanks, guys.